When cats don't have a home, when street cats have nowhere to go, who will take care of them? We are the Regional Animal Protection Society and our cat sanctuary is one of the biggest in North America and the biggest in Canada. These cats are unadoptable, but our mission is to give them a great life. We have hundreds of cats that call the cat sanctuary their forever home. Hello, welcome to the Raps Cat Sanctuary. So this front section here is called the front courtyard. As you can see, lots of amazing cats out here that are enjoying the outdoors and the sunshine today because it's a beautiful day. Cages and lots of beds and stuff for the cats to scratch and climb on. Need to be able to cage cats that are, are brand new to us. So if we get new cats that are surrendered, strays, um, if we take in cats from feral colonies or other organizations, they go into a cage for four to six weeks. So this allows them to get acclimated to the environment. Um, it also allows us to make sure that they're up to date on all their vaccines. This section is called leukemia because we have cats that have feline leukemia in here. So they are in their own separate contained area just because feline leukemia is easily um, transferable to other cats. Are you a little nervous with the camera? A little camera shy? Hi, hi, hi. You're a good girl, aren't you? Yes, you're so pretty. We also have feral cats. Um, so for those of you don't know, feral is a domesticated cat that has kind of wild tendencies. So they've been born outside, um, so they're not used to human contact. Usually nervous of people, they want to kind of stay away from you. They like to hide up in high spots or little hidey houses. So all the cats here have feline AIDS. AIDS is transmitted between cats through deep bite wounds um, and also mating. But you're gonna see a lot of the cats that have feline age are usually male because they're usually stray cats. They're tom cats that have had to kind of defend their territory. If you ever come to visit us in person on weekends, on Saturday and Sunday, we're open from one to four. You will notice some cats like Cuddles here. She's wearing a collar. The collar means that it's kind of pet at your own risk because those cats can be a little bit spicy sometimes and they can get uh, a bit swatty. Her name is Cuddles, which is ironic because she's definitely not cuddly. <laughs> so in the back courtyard, we have a bunch of pens. There's cat doors on both sides so they can come in and out even when the doors are closed. We have those tile heaters on the back for each of the pens. So in the cooler months, it can stay nice and toasty warm for them. All the pens have the different enclosures on the outside, different things for the cats to climb on different types of enrichment. A couple of them are open, so the cats, as you can see, are in and out as they please. This pen over here is closed and it's permanently closed. So there is a feral colony that lives in here. We don't let the other cats in and out and we don't let them out only because they are very feral and it's very hard to monitor their health and well-being if they're hiding away all the time. Oh my God, everyone's out right now. It's feeding time, isn't it? Hi, Tyson. Oh, you're a good boy. On the newcomer section, it has its own little deck here. Sections for the cats to go up and down. Um, lots of lovely beds, heating lamps. It's cat paradise here. So we have cages here. So if we have newcomers coming in, new cats arriving, they can go into the cages. Or if we need to monitor a cat, they can be caged as well. And this is Picasso here. He's a sweetheart. He came all the way from Manitoba. He was a stray and he had frostbite on his ears and his tail. So that's why he, his ears, they were amputated a bit as well as his tail. But he's a sweetheart, aren't you? Yes, you're a good boy. You're like a little teddy bear. And another reason we have different sections is so that we can um, make sure that behaviors are matching. So we wanna make sure that it remains a sanctuary for the cats. And if, if a cat's really not doing well in one section, we will try them out in another section. So, and then we also have some cats that have been surrendered to us when they, and they were indoor only in, in their previous home and they never experienced the outdoors and it seems overwhelming for them. So we have them here. So they still get some fresh air with the deck, um, but it's better suited for their needs. So we're, yeah, we're really lucky to have a place here that they can call home and they can still get a lot of love and attention from all the great staff, volunteers and visitors. Um, and then also the feral cats. So there's probably all around the world, there's always a problem with cats that are being dumped and then they're having um, offspring and it just grows and grows and grows. So um, we can bring these cats in here, we can give them a safe home. They don't have to interact with people if they don't want to. Um, but they still get fed, they get the medical care they need, and yeah, they live long, happy lives. So the sanctuary is a very magical place for both cats and people. People love coming back here, just sitting on the benches, hanging out with the cats, 
Um, it's really relaxing, it's really enjoyable. So I definitely recommend coming down. Be sure to subscribe and we will see you next time. Thank you.